guys, what's up? This is Mr. B with part three of the foil sculpture tutorials. This will be the last one and it's titled Painting and Finishing. These are the materials that you'll need for this segment. Potentially more foil, some tape, ideally masking, but whatever you got, scissors, strong utility scissors, and here's something new, some tools that you can use for detailing your sculptures. Now, make sure guys, you're asking your parents before you start raiding your drawers at home. Um, next, you're gonna need some brushes, ideally. These are about three quarter inch thickness. Now, I mean, really use whatever you got, guys. If you've got wider house painting brushes, um, hey, you can even do this with your fingers, all right? But this is what I'm recommending, okay? Um, a couple pieces of cardboard to use as your paint palettes. And then getting into cleanup, you guys might want to have a sponge to wipe your work surfaces down. And this is also good for um, wiping and cleaning your brushes off. Okay, and then lastly here, let me move the stuff aside. Lastly, you're gonna need your paint, okay? Now, ideally two colors. And I'm recommending some acrylic paint. This is Blick Acrylic that I get online. Um, but again, guys, we're using whatever we have here. So if you've got um, modeling paint, if you've got spray paint, if you've got house paint, um, it's all gonna work, all right? Uh, do me a favor though, if you're gonna use spray paint, please again, ask an adult to help you do that, all right? And then with the paint, you're gonna need two colors, okay? You're gonna need a base color, and I recommend a dark brown for that. Um, black works too. Um, and then you're gonna need a top coat dry brush layer, and for that, I recommend a gold or some kind of metallic. All right, I'm gonna go through the video. You guys are gonna see what I'm what I'm doing here and uh, hopefully you're gonna get some ideas and you're gonna work with what you got. And uh, remember, it's art, so be creative. Okay, let's get started, guys. So here's our finished aluminum sculpture. We got our surfer dude, the surfboard. He's looking pretty cool. Um, before you start though, just take a look at it. Make sure your pose is bent in the right position. Make sure, you know, we got some, some good articulation. You know, turn it around, look at it from multiple sides. Um, this flipping foil situation. Um, you know, you can take little pieces of tape like I have here and you can, you know, get a piece of tape, break it off, real small, okay? And you can tape that stuff down. Um, but look, the tape can actually add to the problem and just be another piece that's flipping off here. So, you know, just do it at your best discretion. Um, you know, some of these things, this could look cool. This could look artistic. Uh, the paint is actually going to hold a lot of that stuff down. So, um, so again, don't sweat it. Be creative. Do what you, do what you got, okay? Um, all right, before we get started, guys, something I didn't show you... Uh, I've got an apron here. This is just like a regular, you know, cooking, cooking apron. Okay. And I'm gonna put that on so I don't get paint on my shirt. But if you don't have an apron, use um, an old shirt or something like that. So, um, so you're not getting it all over yourself. This acrylic paint doesn't come out of clothes so well. Okay. So be careful. And I'm out here in the garage. I've got a work table here, this utility surface. I'm not too concerned about getting paint on that. If you guys are at home on your desk or in the kitchen, uh, you're gonna wanna put some newspaper or some kind of um, some kind of goose paper or something, cardboard, anything down so you're not getting paint on your, um, on your working surface. Okay, so here we go, guys. I'm gonna take some of this paint and I'm gonna start to apply. And this is gonna get messy. You're gonna get paint um, probably on your non-dominant hand because you're gonna be, um, be supporting this you know, I'm thinking maybe I want to move this surfboard out and just do that separately because I know that's going to get in the way.
Okay guys, so I got that first layer down and I did a pretty good job. Okay, still a little, uh, still a little wet. Got a little paint on my hands, no big deal. Now, what I want you guys to notice are, you see these little spots of exposed tin foil? Okay, I missed some spots. And it's hard to see when the paint is wet, but these little spots are called holiday spots. And you really don't wanna have a bunch of holiday spots because what it does is when you leave those like that, well, one, it makes your sculpture look unfinished, but two, people can see through your paint to the material that you used, and they're gonna be like, hey, what's up with the recycled sculpture? You know, what, did you raid the recycle bin before you made this project or what? As opposed to people saying, hey, that's a really cool sculpture. What's that made of? Is it bronze? Gee, that must be really expensive. Okay, you guys get the idea? So now I'm gonna have to go back in with my second layer, hit all those holiday spots before I can get to my final dry brush detail layer, okay? Okay, you guys, so I got a pretty good uh, base coat there. Now, I didn't get all my holiday spots, obviously. Um, I got paint all over my hands. Um, just trying to do my best in a short 10-minute video here. Um, you know, so you guys want to take that extra time and really make sure you get all your holiday spots. Let me show you the next part. This is the dry brush layer, and we're going to use our metallic paint for that. And this is exactly what it sounds like, okay? Dry brush. So you wanna make sure that your brush is not wet, um, that it's dry, and you're only using a very small amount of this layer. I'm getting some on my brush, and then I'm actually gonna be wiping it off on my palette so that I just have a little bit on here, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're gonna dust this lightly over the surface, really light pressure, okay? We don't want to paint this whole sculpture gold. If we did that, it's going to look fake. It's going to look like, uh, you know, like a fake plastic trophy. We want to give it what's called a two-tone effect. So we just kind of want to lightly sort of brush or artistic word for it. It's called scumbling. And we want to just kind of hit the, um, the high spots of the sculpture with the gold. All right? Now, I'm kind of rushing through it. Um, you know, but you just kind of keep doing it until you think it looks right. And you know, if you mess up, no big deal. You paint over it with your base coat, you dry with a hairdryer, you come back, you add some more, and um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so just hitting the high spots, really, really important. Yeah, so I mean, I'm gonna come back and hit those holiday spots. Those are really bugging me here. But you guys get the idea, right? Don't get too much. It's starting to mix with my brown because my brown's not completely dry here. So I probably am gonna to wanna to come back and do this again off tape. All right, you guys, you get the uh, you get the hang of this here. So clear our workspace and let's flip it up front and you guys can take a look at it. Okay, so ideally, and you can kind of see it here better. Um, we've got our two coats, we've got our base coat, and then we've got our dry brush layer over that that's just kind of hit the surface and ideally what we're looking for here is sort of like an antiqued bronze uh, look. All right well that ends our series guys and uh, that's it for now. This is Mr. B signing off saying stay safe and stay creative.